Alright guys, we're going to go back over here and take a look at the situation in the Middle East. And again, I just want to bring up all the locations so people understand who's who. This is Egypt here. Okay. This is the Sinai Peninsula, which is part of Egypt. Right here. Right here is Jordan. Which connects to Egypt and also connects to uh, Israel. And Egypt right here on the border. Jordan connects to Egypt and Israel. Okay, up here is uh, wait. First of all, here's here's Gaza. This red area right here. And uh, Gaza is where Hamas is. And Hamas is a a, a terrorist organization. Okay. Uh, when when you hear people speak about Al Qaeda, Al Qaeda is it, 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 it is simply a terrorist group. That's all they are. Okay, it's just a terrorist group. But really and truly, there there's more than one just terrorist group. Al Qaeda is just like a branch or a part of this greater, bigger, broader picture, which is just all the terrorists uh, as a whole. Okay, and that's now what basically the media would be calling Al Qaeda. Okay, Hamas is basically just like Al Qaeda. Okay, for the most part, it's just a it's okay. In other words, it's a terrorist group. It's it's a group of people that 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 create human shields so that when you try to go to war with them, you can't attack without uh, destroying civil uh, civilians or normal everyday people's lives. Okay, they hide behind that. Then they come out, they make their attack, and then they move back and hide behind these, these human shields all over again. Usually schools or libraries or something of that nature. Also, another thing you need to know about these extremist groups or terrorist cells or terrorist groups is that you cannot negotiate with them. Diplomatics or, or politics does not work with a terrorist group. Terrorist groups, guys, are from, from the day a child is born, within minutes all the way until whatever age they are today are taught to destroy the West and Israel. Big Satan and Little Satan. Okay, that's what they're they're basically taught is that you, you are to destroy even at the cost of your own life you will be rewarded for it and they are taught this from birth and so they don't know any other thing guys so when you come in here to negotiate with them and say well look we want a peace treaty there's no such thing to them that's not a possibility. You can negotiate till you're blue in the face. You're not going to get anywhere. That's the problem here. Okay, Hamas is one of these groups. Okay, to the north, you got Hezbollah or or Lebanon. This is Lebanon here. This yellow area here is Lebanon. Okay, that's Lebanon. And you've got Hezbollah, which is another terrorist group. Okay, so instead of using names like Hezbollah or, or uh, Hamas down there in Gaza or the other groups that are located in the area, I'm just simply going to say that there are terrorist groups or extremist groups, okay? Now, they are indeed Muslims or Palestinians or what have you, okay? There, there's different factions in here. However, they do not represent the people. Okay, it's not the people that want the West and Israel destroyed. It is these militant groups or these extremist groups or these terrorist groups that are now in office. Okay, let me let me back up and explain what happened. Egypt or Egypt. Obama gets into office. He makes a trip to Egypt. And for the first time in history, he invites the Muslim Brotherhood to have front row seats in Egypt at the speech. Then Obama goes around to the other nations in the area and he basically does the exact same thing. What he did was he went in, he uninstalled the, the other government by creating instability, by bringing in the Muslim, Muslim Brotherhood and setting them in the front row seats where they are not allowed to be. And so he brings them in and sets them up. And so now Egypt, instead of being a buffer for Israel, is now got the Muslim Brotherhood sitting as the head of their government. Okay, you've got the same thing in Hamas. 
Okay, you got the same thing going on in Syria. That's where the instability is coming from. You got the same thing going on in Jordan. You got the same thing going on in Lebanon. What you have is you have the Muslim Brotherhood completely surrounding Israel in every direction. When I say that if someone blinks, it's game on. That's not a joke, guys. What Obama has done, and the other nations as well, but mainly Obama, what he has done, guys, and this is why you know uh, exposing the Benghazi situation is so important, because it can shut this entire thing down by exposing absolutely everything. But again, the people won't do that, so we're going to go straight into chaos here. But Israel, okay, what's happening is Iran over here is bringing in, Iran coming through coming through here going right straight through Jordan into Egypt and from Egypt into Gaza bringing in the missiles okay all of what's going on right here around Israel is a prelude to this right here Iran Iran is is making a massive statement right now to the United States Great Britain and the whole West and their allies such as Israel that Iran has complete control now of the, the Middle East area. The, brother, the, the Muslim Brotherhood is now in place throughout the entire region and they only have one goal and that is to destroy the West and to destroy Israel and they do not negotiate. Well, listen, they may negotiate. Okay, they may negotiate. They might. Okay, and I say that because they will negotiate in such a way as, okay, yeah, we'll stand down if you give us some weapons or technology. Okay, and then we give them the technology, and of course they don't stand down. They use it against us to get what they want. Okay, what else do we need to talk about here? Well, let's talk about Turkey. Because again, you got Egypt, Jordan, Syria, Lebanon. All of these are part of the Muslim Brotherhood. They're all extremist groups, and they're all uh, tied together as brothers. Meaning that they will always stand for one another. Turkey, the head of Turkey, wants to be what? What did he say? The head of the Muslims. Okay? And what you have is Muslims in charge of all the places around Israel. Okay? I've already talked about Turkey, guys. Turkey was the last world empire, other than the United States. I'm talking about the Middle East world empires. Because in Scripture... You've got Nimrod, and you can trace it all the way up to the Roman Empire. All of it is right here in the Middle East. All of it, guys. The entire of it is the Middle East. The Roman Empire, from from Nimrod, the Tower of Babel, and the great city back then, the world empire back then, all the way through the Roman Empire into the Ottoman Empire, we're all right here in the Middle East. The final empire will also be right here in the Middle East. There's no other place it can be, guys. It's the same pattern over and over and over again throughout the scriptures and throughout documented written history. Turkey wants to be the head of the Muslims. Now, he never makes it clear if he wants to be the head of the regular everyday people, the regular everyday Muslims, or if he wants to be the head of the extremist Muslims, that is, the terrorist cells, the terrorist groups, which are completely and separately different than the, than the people. Okay, you've, you've got to understand that it is not the people that want this to happen. It is these extremist groups or these militant groups or these uh, uh, terrorists. That's exactly what they are. There's no other word for it. They are terrorists, guys. Okay. The next thing we need to look at is what has Obama said to Israel as far as supporting this war? What Obama said is that Israel has the right to defend itself. What Obama never said was Hamas stand down. Hamas, stop. Never. He never said that. All he's saying is, look, I've got the Muslim Brotherhood over here. I've got Israel completely surrounded. Iran's in charge of all this, and they're funneling in the uh, weapons through Jordan into Egypt and on up into Gaza. I've got complete control of this. So, you know what? Yes, Israel has the right to defend herself. Let them just kill one another off. We don't want to get involved. So anyway, now they're sending warships over here to Israel, to the Mediterranean Sea. That's right here. This is the Mediterranean Sea here. There you go. Mediterranean Sea. Right here. 
Mediterranean Sea. So there's the Mediterranean Sea connection with Israel. That's where the ships are going. With with uh, uh, the uh, supposedly the story is they're there to help for uh, in need of evacuations out of Israel to get it you know the people out of there if necessary. Okay, sounds good. Again. <clears throat> The entire first four years of Obama's administration, or, or term, first four-year term in his government, he never spoke with Israel. Other than right, right at that one first part of it there. That's about it. He never again spoke to him. Now this term, he spoke to him a lot. He's also spoke, he's, but he's spoken more to Turkey and Egypt. Okay? Which again, is all the Muslim Brotherhood coming together. What you have, guys, is a setup to start a war here that will eventually go to Iran, and when it goes to Iran, you're in a global war. Okay, there's no reason to fear this, guys, and believe me, when when this if if this elevates and escalates all the way, if it does, there are terror cells right here in the United States, guys, that will be activated and they'll be activated around the world not just the United States but around the world it will be a literal world war and we know from scripture that the final battle is basically going to be triggered in and through the three major religions Islam Christianity and the uh, Judaism or, 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 or basically what the Jews or, or what the uh, Israelites over here are doing. Now I'm not saying that the people in, the, in Israel are Jews because at, yeah, I think most the majority of the Jews are still scattered. Just like the majority of the Israelites are still scattered. The Hebrews, that is. The Jews and the Hebrews. The house of Judah and the house of Israel. But the situation, guys, is not good. And it's not good in any way. Turkey has already stood up and said that it stands on Hamas's side. Egypt has already stood up and said that it stands on Hamas's side. Okay, the only two that haven't really, truly, genuinely stood up and, and said where they stand is Syria and Jordan. Okay, but we already know where Lebanon stands. Okay, now what happens if if Israel decides to start a ground war into Gaza? What will happen is all hell will break loose. The gates of hell, as Hamas said, are opened, and they really are opened. If they start a ground incursion, they no longer have the Iron Dome to protect them. The Iron Dome is stationary. For the most part, they do have mobile equipment, but most of it is stationary and in position. The, the, the Iron Dome will not be able to help stop the missiles coming at their airplanes and their tanks and their ground troops. So you're going to have a lot of deaths, and it, listen, listen to me, guys. This is a no-win situation for Israel. Israel cannot win in any way. Israel can stop right now, but it is quite clear who surrounds Israel, and that it's only a matter of time before they all bombard Israel. So Israel has no choice but to stand up. Okay? I don't care who did what, guys, and who's to blame for what. I'm trying to explain to you what's happened in the last four years, mainly, that has established this entire setup. And if, if the Benghazi thing ever got exposed, it would have exposed the entire Middle East situation and exactly what the United States has done over there in and through the regime that is at the head of our government here in the United States. Believe me, the American people don't want a war over there. It's the government that's doing that. Okay, so those of you that are in the Middle East listening, it's not us, the people, that are that are not backing you, and it's not us, the people, that are wanting this war over here in the Middle East. We don't want it. We want peace with everybody, all together. But we have a president over here that's saying, peace, peace, everything's okay, and there is no peace. And they're telling us everything's fine, you know, it's going to calm down, you know, Israel has the right to defend herself, but they, we don't say anything about stopping Hamas whatsoever. Because it's all been put in position and in place by our own president. And we are sorry, or I am sorry, at least I apologize for what our, our government has done to you guys.
but this is a very serious situation if they go in guys look all of the military all, all of the militants um, ammunitions are stored in schools and libraries and all these public places if Israel goes in it is going to be a bloodbath probably on both sides of the party Hamas's side and Israel side if Israel is going to take out the ammunition, they're going to end up taking out civilians, which is going to create a major problem amongst anybody that has the Muslim Brotherhood as their head, which is all the states surrounding Israel. So this is not a light situation, guys, and you must understand what is taking place here. Now we've got the United States moving their ships in over there to Israel. You've got Iran funneling in weapons through Jordan into Egypt and on up into Gaza that can reach Tel Aviv where their nuclear power plants are, their power which they need for radar and all those things and they can also reach Jerusalem Okay, what is going on in the Middle East guys is something you need to be paying attention with, to because what's happening here look guys if someone flinches just wrong it is game on and it is going to be real it'll just spread throughout the entire area okay the ultimate goal though is Iran over here I can tell you that right now that's the ultimate goal and then once Iran is in and everything's in place it's just a matter of time for Russia stands up then China the United States everybody's involved and we have one heck of a mess complete and utter chaos the perfect timing for the Antichrist or the one who comes in the place of Christ claiming to be God claiming to be the Savior with all the answers and solutions to show up which I still believe in my heart he's gonna show up in and through a UFO or something of that nature that will be able to unite all the people together so anyways guys I hope this will help you to understand the entire situation that's going on in the Middle East It's a very serious situation uh, you know, like I said, Turkey and Egypt both stand behind Gaza. Now, Gaza is just a little bitty area. Just this is all of Gaza right here. I mean, it's like you know, Israel go right in and just eliminate them. But then you've got people that are sitting over here saying, "Well, you know, Hamas has the right to exist." Well, I'm sorry, but if you're out murdering civilians and you're just randomly firing missiles anywhere, uh. Do they really have the right to, to, to exist? If they're all they're doing is just killing innocent civilian I mean innocent people? Okay? Now I know you guys will come on board and be like, Well don't you know that they took over the Palestinians land and blah 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 blah? Okay, look guys, Egypt, Israel, Jordan, Syria, Damascus, all these areas have existed for over three over four thousand years five thousand years six thousand years guys these places have been around for ever and the war has always been right here because they all originate where all of them where do they originate Iran Iran is where you got to take the war to all of these, the Israelites, the Palestinians, everybody over there originates from Iran. And Iran is the one funding or providing the weapons to all of this. Okay? Doesn't matter who took over whose land. They all originated over here in Iran in Babylon in the Babylonian area. Where the largest US ambassador uh, 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 um, what is it called? Embassy. The, the biggest U.S. embassy ever created on the planet exists now. Right on the crosshairs, dead center of ancient Babylon. Go check it out for yourselves, guys. It's going to employ something like 25,000 or tw 25 million. I don't know. 25,000, I believe, or 250,000. I'm, I'm not sure, guys. It's just in, an insanely large number of employees that are going to be employed at the embassy in Iran. So, guys, heads up, and I mean literally heads up over there in the Middle East, because if things get bad in the Middle East, they're going to start withholding uh, your, your oil, which means your gas prices are going to skyrocket through the roof. Your price of food is going to skyrocket because the price of fuel to move that food is going to go up. 
they got a lot of tools they can hold against us, just like we have a, a lot of political tools that we can hold against them, such as all, as all the funding that we've given Egypt to keep the Muslim Brotherhood out and to keep peace between Egypt and Israel so that we have a buffer. We're still giving them that money, but now we have Hamas installed in place. I mean, I'm sorry, the Muslim Brotherhood, which is basically one and the same thing. They're, they're brothers. But we've installed that, and we're still giving them the money to keep <laughs> the, the peace over there. So, I mean, it's just like, you know, is it not clear, crystal clear, what is going on? And that, uh, quite literally, our president has become a voice and doing something totally, completely in opposite of what he speaks which has been the case for the last four years anyway, and has been proven in Benghazi, but won't be proven because the people refuse to stand up and to speak and to put their signatures down and to get to the bottom of what happened in Benghazi, which will expose the entire corruption that it has been involved for the last four years with the Obama administration. Again, the majority of the A-team of Obama are stepping down and stepping out. Names are dropping left and right. They're all getting out as soon as they possibly can. Guys, it's crystal clear. Crystal clear. Scripture is being fulfilled to an absolute T with precision. Incredibly amazing. Shalom to all. Get in the Word. Stay in the Word. And get the Word in you guys. Talk to you guys later. Heads up.